Hi guys, I'm Jack from Jack's Transmissions. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a, a TCM log. Um, and doing a TCM log itself is pretty straightforward, but what I'd like to do is show you how uh, we like to see a TCM log. Because uh, if you're having a trans problem, we're more than happy to help you out by looking at your TCM logs. But um, we really like consistency with a log um, to do basically what we do here so we can make sure that everything is operating the way it's supposed to and see if there's any anomalies in the log. Um, what we do is um, I'll, I'll put uh, on the display up here uh, Excel pedal. Uh, if you put that up uh, when you accelerate, we'd like to see a pull at 30% throttle uh, and shifting at 3500 RPM. Uh, that way at, under low pressure conditions, low load conditions, we can see uh, what the pressures are doing, what the shift forks are doing, things like that. Uh, it makes sure that at, at lower levels everything is nice and stable in the log and running across nice and cleanly. If there's any you know, instability issues or whatever, it could show up at low pressure where high pressure might be okay. So that would be a low pressure log, basically 30% throttle, hold it there and just go through first, shift at 3500 into second, shift at 3500 into third, and just go as far as you can. I mean, don't make it unsafe. You know, if you can only go up to third gear, that's fine. Uh, if, you go in, if you can go into fourth or fifth, uh, that's even better. The more data we have, the better. Um, so another thing to keep in mind is always have VDC down here off uh, when you're data logging so traction control doesn't get in the way. And uh, you always want to data log in a trans manual mode. Uh, in auto mode, it can shift at different times, which will uh, you know, skew the results of, uh, of what we're looking for too. So we'll do a 30% throttle pull, and then we want to see a 100% throttle pull shifting at 6,000 RPM, and then another 100% throttle pull shifting uh, you know, at, at wherever your red line is set to. You know, if it's 7,000, 7,500, 8,000, 85, whatever it is, you know, just go all the way up and shift all the way up, up top. Uh, and the wide open throttle, 100% throttle pulls, what we want to see is basically two full gears worth of the pull. So uh, on a full bolt-on car like this, I'm not going to really have any traction problems. So I'll, I'll hit it in second, go all the way through second, shift into third, go all the way through third, and once I shift into fourth, I'll let off and that's all we need. So that way we can get data on both the even and odd gear on a 100% throttle pull. If you're making a lot of power and you can't, you know, you just can't hold traction in second gear, you know, going through third gear and through fourth and then into fifth would work. Just be safe. You know, I know a lot of you are probably going to be doing the data logging on the street. Just be safe. And the last thing we want to see is if there's a trouble spot. Let's say that the trans is has an odd behavior at 5,000 RPM if you try to shift, uh, you know, from third to fourth or something. You know, we want to see... That 30% throttle pull, 100% throttle at 6,000, 100% throttle at the limiter, and then wherever your weird spot is, you know, make a log of that, uh, you know, so we can see if there's anything unusual going on in, in the normal logs that we see, and then when you have that trouble spot, you know, data log that spot, uh, so we can see if that anomaly uh, can be found uh, in that area as well. So. Cobb and Ecutech both have TCM data logging capabilities. Uh, with Cobb, it's pretty easy. Just contact your tuner to make sure everything's selected for that, or you can do it manually, and uh, just select all the TCM parameters that can be logged in the Cobb, and that's that's all you need. You just, just you could just do a standard log. Um, with the Ecutech, it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, you need to get uh, the latest TCM ROM uh, from your tuner. Uh, usually, it's already a memory if you've installed the tune yourself. Uh, in this one right here. The uppermost line right there, you can see that it says TCM. If it says TCM, that's your TCM ROM file. You want to go ahead and select that. And it'll bring up the data logger for the TCM. Just like this. And basically when you're ready to go in any of them, uh, you click Map Access. And then when you're ready to go, you click Log the File. Uh, we like the, the logs to be as short as possible, so you know, click log the file when you're ready to do any of the pulls, and then shut it off. And then when you do another pull, log the file, shut it off. So, uh, so that way everything is kept pretty small, and um, 
it's visited area, so it's, it's easier for us to access and it doesn't take as much time to rummage through all the, the data that we don't need. So here we go. Um, I've got a safe spot here where there isn't too much traffic, nice open road, uh, and it's not gonna be illegal for me to do what I need to do here. Again, I'm in manual mode, BDC off, and the transit normal mode, not R. So I'm going to do the 30% throttle pull now. Um, click log to file. I watch my gauge here, 30%. And I'm going to shift at 3,500. Still at 30%, 3,500. 3,500. I'm in fifth now. I'm going to go up to 3,500 into sixth. So that's a good one. That gives us a lot of data right there um, for low pressure, low load condition from first all the way into sixth. And you know, I wasn't really going that fast because I'm shifting at 3,500, so it's pretty safe. Now we're going to do a pull at 100% throttle, shifting at 6,000. So I'm in second gear, log the file, floor it. That's it got two full gears worth of data there, 100% throttle, shifting early at 6,000. The reason we like a 6,000 RPM shift is because with a lot of cars, you're at your torque peak in that area. So when you're shifting at the torque peak, if the trans is sensitive to something, it's going to be, it's going to act up more there than it would probably a red line. So now we need to do another one. I'm just going to keep the log going since they're in quick uh, succession here. But second gear again. traffic. So I'm going to go from second through third and then once I shift into fourth I'll let off. So there we go. So two full gears worth. Again you want to do two gears worth and even in an odd gear worth of uh, full throttle pull uh, so we can see what both clutches are doing. If one clutch is weaker than the other pressures are off, whatever is going on has more slip than the other, we have all the data we need. And then you just click stop, and that's it. That's all there is to it. And if you have a trouble spot, uh, basically just data log that area of where you feel a problem or see a problem with the trans, and we'll be able to look at that data as well and figure out what's going on. But if you do what I just showed you now, that typically gives us enough data to figure out what's going on. Uh, no matter what your problem is, pretty easily, uh, because typically with these transmissions, it's pressure issues uh, that cause problems. And with all that data that I just had now, um, that I just recorded now, will tell us everything we need to know if there's a pressure issue. Uh, but if there's more to it and you want to do more logs, that's fine. But again, the first thing we want to see is the logs that, you know, the type of logs that I just showed you, and that should give us everything we need to help you diagnose your issue remotely and hopefully help you out in any way we can. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please visit us on our uh, private Facebook page. It's called the DCT Owners Group. Uh, you can also visit us online at jackstransmissions.com. Thanks for watching.